This vegetable tier list video requires a little explanation, so here's how it came about. I was peacefully chopping veg at work when my coworker mentioned, Nice, I get to do mushrooms. That's a level 3 vegetable. Which sent my brain spiraling downward wondering how anyone could categorize vegetables into levels of difficulty. So we need some standards to keep this scientific. Uniformity. Stuff that's the same all the way through is much easier to work with. Yeah, you heard me, tomatoes. Forgiving or not. Basically, can you undercook or overcook it without it being truly terrible? Three is technical knowledge. Do you actually need to know how to cook or can you just boil it and have it taste good? And lastly is prep. Can you use it right off the shelf or does it need four and a half steps before it's usable? Okay, let's do this. Let's start with a simple one. Carrots, easy F tier. You can boil them, you can roast them, you can eat them raw, and they're pretty much uniform all the way through. Easy F tier. Next up, let's do peppers. I'm gonna put peppers in C tier. They're not super uniform, they can be easily overcooked and get kind of terrible, so a better mid-range vegetable. We'll give it a C. I'm gonna put jalapenos in the B tier, just because they're similar to bell peppers, a little bit smaller, a little more technical to do the prep on and de-seed, but they can also be a little overpowering in terms of flavor, so they're a little tougher. Next up, let's do cucumber. Cucumber, not too bad, we're gonna put that in the D tier. You can eat it raw, it's overall a fairly easy vegetable to work with. Okay. We're gonna go with kale into the A tier. Mostly because you've got stem and then you've got leaves and they both have to be treated quite different. Okay, we gotta round this out with something in S tier. Definitely gonna be mushrooms. Really easy to mess up, not uniform at all, huge variety of them. Overall, I would say mushrooms are one of the more technical vegetables for any home cook to be doing well. Broccoli. Definitely going in the C tier, not super uniform, but also relatively forgiving. Yes, you can turn them into terrible green mush if you want to, but overall, if you're roasting them, they're gonna turn out pretty decent without a whole lot of effort. Another D tier vegetable we can have is potatoes. Overall, very forgiving, not a whole lot of prep, pretty uniform. Overall, I'd say potatoes are pretty easy for most home cooks to handle. Next up, celery. We're gonna say that's uh, F, D, somewhere around there. We'll give it a D, just because a little less uniform, you gotta pick off some leaves, there's a little bit of prep involved. Another one, sitting in the middle, onions, easy call. Another S tier, okra. Pretty tough for a lot of home cooks to use, they require a little more technical knowledge. Now a surprising one, I'm gonna put green onions in the B tier, simply because they've got two distinct parts, the whites of the green onion and the actual green part. Those are gonna be a little more difficult to work with and get done right. Spinach. F tier. Tomato, gonna be a little bit higher up the list here. You know, you've gotta de-seed them or you gotta handle all the juice and everything that comes out of them. Tomatoes are a little more tricky than your average vegetable. Another one we're gonna throw on S tier is Brussels sprouts. Now we've all had terrible mushy Brussels sprouts. Getting them golden and crispy is pretty required for them to be tasty, and that takes some skill and understanding in the pan. Another F tier, arugula, throw it in a bowl, eat it, don't have to do much pretty simple to work with. Another one we're gonna put up a little higher on the list is garlic. Peeling them's a little bit tricky, and it's easy to overpower your food with too much garlic. Lettuce, we'll put a little further down. Red onions, easy call. We'll put them alongside their friend, the other onion. Uh, avocado, I would want to put avocado in the F tier, but after seeing enough videos of people getting avocado handed, we'll move that up to a D. Zucchini, again, takes a little bit of work to make it delicious, but I wouldn't say it's anywhere near as difficult as something like mushrooms or Brussels sprouts. So we'll go C for that. Artichoke, easy S tier. A little bit tricky and a little bit intimidating for your average home cook. Asparagus, eh, we'll go C. Not a ton of prep goes into them, but getting them cooked just right, I wouldn't say they're particularly forgiving. Leeks will go alongside their friends, the green onions, because they have a lot of the similar tricky bits to them, but overall, I wouldn't say they're an incredibly difficult vegetable, so... Yeah, we'll go C tier. We'll go C tier for leeks. I'm comfortable with that. Uh, ginger, a bit more prep than usual, and... You're either going to be cutting it down extremely fine, or you're going to be blitzing it. Uh, I would say ginger takes a bit more work. Eggplant. Now, a lot of people might put eggplant down in the D tier, but getting the skin just right, or getting it roasted without getting kind of soggy and mushy, can be a little bit tricky. So we'll go eggplant for C tier. Uh, we'll go with corn. I'm going to say this is a pretty easy D tier. Doesn't take a ton of work. All you got to do is shuck them, boil them, and it's good to go. Obviously, you can roast them and do a lot of things with it, but corn's pretty manageable for a home cook who's fairly new to cooking. Butternut squash. While they're relatively uniform all the way through, you've got to do some de-seeding, and they're just so darn hard to cut because they're so dense. 
then I'm gonna move that up to a B tier. Uh, cauliflower, gonna put that down in the D tier. Doesn't take a ton of work, and cutting it into florets is pretty easy as well. Pumpkin. We're gonna go a little bit somewhere in the middle with pumpkin. I think it has a lot of the similar difficulties as butternut squash, and it's a little difficult to cut. So, B tier for pumpkin. Sweet potato, similar idea to your regular potato. They might be a little less forgiving than the super starchy potatoes, but I'd say D tier is a respectable place to put them. Peas, again, kind of a similar idea to the others. Doesn't take a ton of work. Edamame, easy F tier. Steam them, salt them, lovely. Beets, only because I've had such brutal experiences peeling hundreds of beets at work, I'm gonna put beets a little bit higher up than people might expect. Getting the skin off the beets, you've gotta be pretty quick about that, so beets are going in A. Turnip, eh, about a middle of the road, C tier. Cabbage, easy as heck. Shred it, chop it, do whatever you want. Cabbage is gonna be edible and relatively forgiving. And last up, we have radishes. Only because they're so bitter, I wanna put them a little bit higher up. You've gotta be fairly careful with radishes because if you put too much in or larger chunks, it's just super unpalatable. So we're gonna go B tier for radishes. And that's our tier list for vegetables, breaking down how difficult I think each one is and how approachable they might be for home cooks. And if you disagree, I'm down to argue it out in the comments. Thanks for watching and have fun cooking.